Hey, what's up? It's your girl Grub with Khalees, and we are back with another video. What's up, my girl bugs? How y'all doing today? As from the title, you already know what this story time is going to be about. This story time is about a very traumatic event in my life. But first, I'm going to take it a little slow on you guys because I need you to understand some key concepts and how I met this friend and so on and so forth but without further ado we're gonna say our grace and we're gonna get it in heavenly father thank you for this food that I'm about to receive bless the hands that prepared it me <laughs> let it be nourished into my body lord god and bless those who don't have any food in Jesus name we pray amen Miss Mama Girl got the wine today, okay? But first, we're going to take a bite of this food. Mm. Y'all, I just got done cooking. Mm. Mm, see the smoke? Mmm. Mm. Got some broccoli back here. Mm. 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 Y'all, I'm gonna try to do the story time, okay? Mm. This is so good. Mm. Mm. Y'all know in this wine bottle right here, it's about to get deep. And just know that. Because I consider this person a friend. Not anymore. I could, it's to the point where I think I can literally walk, um, like literally see them walking and literally not say anything to them because it's that bad but this story time is just an introduction on how me and this individual met and why i classify her as a depressed friend and this is not to throw jabs at people who actually go through depression there's people who actually go through it and there's people that actually put themselves through it If you get my drift. So. I'm going to eat a little bit. And we're going to start off. So good. Mm. A little piece of chicken. I had to dice my chicken up small. I normally like big pieces. But I dice it up small because my boyfriend, he like small chicken. You know how you got to accommodate your lover sometimes. Not all the time. Okay. Mm. So, as you guys know from my welcome back video, I spoke a lot about behaving with grace as a young lady. I spoke a lot about protecting your peace, protecting your energy. And I guarantee you, me and this ex friend, if I was who I was now back then, we wouldn't have never even became friends. Mm. 
Comment down below if you love broccoli with your alfredo. Mmm. Show y'all a little bit. Mmm. So good. Let me show y'all. It's delicious. Mmm. Homemade. Not out of a sauce can. Okay. Bottle, jar, whatever. Mm. This is so good, y'all. I'm trying to start my story. Mm. Y'all know how it is. Let's pour this wine. Y'all know I love my Aldi's wine now. Y'all know it. And this is the Pacific Fruit Vineyards Sweet Mango. Got to remember to save my man, so keep bothering me. I want to taste it. I want to taste it. I'm just like, damn, let me get a little tipsy for this story time, okay? Okay, y'all. Cheers. need that okay so how do we meet <coughs> me and this friend we met at another one of my friends house but we met through a guy that is my god brother let's just call it for what it is he's my god brother so I was hanging out with one of my friends even me and her we're not friends anymore I don't necessarily classify us as friends, but distant, very distant associates. Because my family still loves her. And if she was to come over to my mom's house today or tomorrow, my mom was going to be like, hey, baby. Scoot this over for y'all. Mm. So, yes. We basically met over her house and one of my previous partners were being very disrespectful to me, um, calling me out my name, just being like real, like real disrespectful. So she jumped up to fight him and she was like, yo, I don't know who the f think you is. You not finna talk to her like that. Blase, blase. So, she's drunk and she's literally throwing a fit. Me, I'm just like, yo, look, don't don't put yourself in the middle of this because, you know, like, I don't want you to be in something that could potentially, you know, you, the, me and this guy, we're not even going to be together at all. So, don't get yourself hurt in the process of, you know, trying to be there for me, but... I appreciate what she did, so we became friends. By the title, you know I call her the depressed friend because this young lady, I'm not even going to lie. She was going through some things in her life, but it was to the point where everything was just so uncontrollable to the point where is that she would call me and there would be absolutely nothing positive that would come out her mouth like at all. Like she would call me and say things like, Hey, what you doing? And I'll be like, nothing. And then she'll be like, I just got raped. And me being her friend, I was just like, oh my God, like, you know, are you okay? Like, I would try to go to her rescue. Back then, I didn't have a car. And she was dating my god brother, but... She was also dating another guy in between. Um, she was one of those girls where, you know, she left the nest early because defiance at its best. She wanted to do what she wanted to do. So 
she would find herself in these horrible situations that she would predominantly cause amongst herself. And me, I tried to be a good friend to her, but she was just sucking the life out of me, guys. Like, it will be times where I will get calls at like 3 o'clock in the morning and she would just say things like, I don't want to be here no more. I'm going to kill myself. I can't take it no more. Like, she would just like really be so depressed to the point she couldn't function. And this is not to say, hey, don't be friends with someone who deals with depression. She was a little bit absurd, but I'm going to tell you the things that made it go bonkers but that's gonna be in separate videos y'all hear the siren damn near every video y'all know i live in chicago okay but it was getting overbearing at times you know it would be to the point where she had nothing positive coming out of her mouth like literally at all so i'm just like you know what how do i be a good friend to somebody and we don't even talk about friendly things like we don't even talk about friendly stuff um like we don't even talk about going to the mall or we don't even talk about things like that it's just consistent drama within her life a little bit self-centered actually um it would just be things like that and you know what i would never sit here and say and literally sit here and call somebody a liar but it was beginning to get quite repulsive on the amount of time someone could get raped during the week if you understand what i'm saying so it was just like what the heck like literally what the heck like it was draining the life out of me like i'm not even going to sit here and lie to you and it's just like at first i would feel bad because i'll be like well damn like i don't want to be this friend that literally sit here and just like literally has a friend that could potentially be going through these type of things and i'm just sitting here just like not believing her or anything like that or you know just just you know not being a good friend no to answer you guys question i was a great friend to her um it just began to get overbearing overbearing to the point where i would not want to answer her calls and you know when it gets to the point where you don't want to answer nobody phone call like come on and it's like i hate to sound like that because i hate to sound like that you know i really do because some people really do be going through depression they really need somebody to just really talk to but what about me what about me like, what about my well-being? What about me wanting to actually have a healthy relationship with you other than you talking about you getting raped every other day or something along those lines? And I would try to recommend the police. She wouldn't take the help. She wouldn't take the help. She was just like, no, he's going to stop. And everything's okay. And it was just dealing with this friend was just an emotional roller coaster ride. Like, it was just too much for me, guys. Like, seriously. And especially me, I'm being young. I'm like, damn, I ain't never deal with nobody like this before.
Yes, guys, but she really did some terrible things to me. And I'm not going to give any names or anything like that, but it was catastrophic. Like, demoralizing my character to the just absolute terriblest thing you could ever ever accuse someone of especially especially with the type of friend I was to her and I I'm not gonna lie guys I begin to separate myself from her because you have to protect your peace like you have you have to protect your energy you have to protect you at all cost because people really do be having demons out here on them and especially especially what she accused me of y'all y'all not even gonna believe it like y'all just y'all y'all gonna you you guys are gonna be in just as awe as i am like seriously you're gonna be in awe you're gonna be in complete disgust you're gonna be like what the hell but I'm not going to sit here and lie and say that me and this individual didn't have good times together or anything like that. We had great times together. But it was just the simple fact that what she would put herself through, she would try to bring that sh on me. And you guys know, you guys know energy. Y'all know that like it was just sticking to me like glue. Like I found myself just being real depressed for no reason. Just sitting in a room. Just sitting in a room. Hold on, y'all. Sitting in a room just like not wanting to go out. Not wanting to do anything. Not want to, you know, just be myself. And when you have people like that who inflict those certain type of behaviors on you or around you you need a change you need to immediately change because don't let that spirit go on you whatever that person is dealing with or whatever the case may be don't ever let that dim your light you know what i'm saying and me i was young you know i wasn't really you know really sure what was going on i just knew that my energy was being drained from me like it was being drained catastrophically like every time i would come around this person it would be happy times let's turn up and then it'll just be like oh, i hate my life i'm a f up And she would do things to, and it's just like, you know, I'm holding back a lot, guys, because I don't want to put, you know, that person knows who I'm talking about. If it ever sees video. The certain living predicaments that they were in, just crazy And it's like, okay, I understand why you could potentially deal with depression, but don't let that smuggle you down. And you know what? I think it could have been a lot of the people that she was around. Okay, y'all know. People with low vibrational energy. That should have tried to stick to you like hot glue. You gotta stay away from people like that. And I would still be good to her. And everything like that. But I just slowly, you know, distance myself. And then... She got pregnant. She would 
basically like she was like a tumbleweed she was like a tumbleweed she would literally live with a boyfriend to boyfriend and go through situations with each boyfriend like terrible situations one of them was beating her well two of them was beating her we go get into that but i'm just giving you guys like a little rough draft and then next video i'm gonna really unfold on the story time of what she accused me of what happened and this all happened while I was staying away because I felt like I genuinely couldn't really be there for her anymore be a friend to her anymore because I felt like one we're on two different walks in life two how in the how how are you gonna tell somebody yo you are so depressed to the point where is that I can't uplift you. I can't have a conversation with you. And you suck the life out of me. How do you have a conversation with someone like that? How do you tell someone something like that without them potentially going to try to kill themselves? You know what I'm saying? So in this situation, I did what I felt was best for me. I did what I felt was best for me. Protecting my peace, protecting my energy, protecting Khalees. It was it was too it was too much demonic energy. Like it just was. Like the people she was around, the generational curses, everything. Like everything as a whole. Like I couldn't take it anymore. It was just so much. And I don't know if you guys are spiritual or whatnot, but that is real. Generational curse is real. Demonic forces are real. And I just felt them trying to gravitate toward my life. I felt the behaviors trying to consume me. And I, I couldn't let it happen. Most people don't believe in that type of stuff, you know, but it's real. I'm going to look you dead in your face and tell you it's real. Why do you think they say birds of a feather flock together? If you're with that person, you're obviously going to try to take on some of those traits. Or they're either going to flock to you or you. Y'all know what I'm trying to say. Okay. Y'all know what I'm trying to say. So guys, more of the story. I begin to distance myself. I did what was best for me. I focused on me. I was young at the time. I focused on me. You know, all that partying and drinking and stuff. I'm 24 years old now, and I still don't party and drink like that. Like, it's just not in my nature. It's just not something that, you know, it's just not something that I do. It's just not something that I find enjoyment in. Like, guys, like, I'm telling you, like, ask my boyfriend like i literally don't like going out partying or nothing like that and it's not even because i have a boyfriend like i feel like all of those years are behind me oh my god y'all gotta please excuse this lady and this dog i'm about ready to choke her for real i'm about ready to choke Y'all, I am so sick of that dog barking. Y'all just don't know it bark in the morning when it wake me up. And then I hear her loud. 
shut up, quiet down. I'm just like, oh my God. Some of us are content creators. Some of us are in school. Some of us are actually doing something with our life other than letting a dog out smoking cigarettes and yelling all the time. I'm sorry. I have to rant for a little bit. I'm just tired of the dog, guys. But no, you guys are going to see. So, and where are you She's pregnant. No, she's not pregnant. Well, in the story time, yeah, she's pregnant. She has her son on my birthday. And December the 7th, obviously, in the current year. But she has him on my birthday. And she acts me to be the godmother and at this time me and this person kind of drifted apart but i told her like hey if you need anything i'm here you know so she made me her child's godson and then mind you i'm literally minding my own business We haven't talked anything like that. And I get a call. And it's her. And she's crying on the phone. Because her and her child's father, this new guy I've never, ever, 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 ever even met before, is fighting. And he Y'all. Like, it's just too much. It's just too much. So I basically get the call. And she's crying. And she's just like... Excuse me. You need to come pick up your godson because I'm about to go to jail. And me... I just started a new job... Because when you let go of that toxic energy out of your life, you begin to see yourself, you know, gradually, you know, elevate to where God wants you to be. So she's just like, I need you to come pick up your son because I'm about to go to jail. And I'm just like, what do you mean you're about to go to jail? Like, hold on. I'm like, calm down. She's crying. She's screaming. And all of a sudden, I hear this loud thud. Boom. Like, boom. She, like, literally, they're fighting at this point. They're fighting at this point. And all I hear is her screaming, like, in the phone, like, Gullies, come get him. I need you to come here. So me, I'm like so startled. I'm like, okay, this is serious. Because I hear him. Like, I'm hearing the punches connect. You know. I'm hearing them punches connect. So, I'm like, let me get my butt up and go like let me just go because i don't want the child to get hurt or i don't even know this guy to even know how he is to even mediate a situation like this between the two of them like my boyfriend was so mad at me i went over there he was so mad because he knows the type of person she is he knows he was so upset and you know what I'm gonna just save that for the next story time like for real because it gets pretty real after that um it's disturbing actually um so yeah I hope you guys enjoyed
part one of the depressed friend <laughs> no like seriously I hope you guys enjoyed this video make sure you like comment and subscribe and I will see you in the next video and the next video I will be going into details what happened that day I'll be going into details like the whole situation because there's two more parts to this story this part the depressed friend was just literally uh, excuse me was just literally an introduction to who this person is where i was in the situation of how i was feeling about this friend and i will get into the story time the very next video all right like comment and subscribe and i will see you in the next video